Bob Hartwood. It's everybody's game of strategy, Alex and Brian. It's part time, tic tac go. And now here's Robbie. We love you flipping. Thank you guys, and welcome to season five. Episode 50 of the Game of Strategy, Knowledge, and Fun is Primetime Tic Tac Go. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. We're going to not waste any time because we have two Beat the Dragon games we're going to do right off the bat. Who is our first champion? Our first champion is Nels Nesrod. Yes. Well, Nels, how are you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? Good, good. You have one... Uh, $20,000 in co-hard cash and two yes. wins. Are you ready to go after the dragon right away? Uh, I'm so ready. You know, I want to kick his butt last for when the last time. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're going to go do the Beat the Dragon game. And if you're ready to do this, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Nels, as you see, there are nine numbers of the board, and the object is for you to uh, get $10,000 or more or get the ticking attack before seeing the dragon. Hmm, well, 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 two beat the dragon games. You're first, Snezrod. You're still ugly, dragon. I'll take that as a compliment. Get to the prizes. Here we go. Nice and sweet. There, here's the following prizes. We have a living room group, an entertainment system, a trip to Switzerland, a catamaran, a petite grand piano, an air hockey table, and those prizes are total $40,510. Oh, I want the air hockey table. <laughs> All right, now if you get the tick and attack on any of your picks, um, Nels, we give you a $40,000 bonus. But during your first two picks, We'll give you an $80,000 bonus and a shot at a new car. Let's go ahead and cover up that board. And if you're ready to go, go ahead and start picking. I will go with lucky number seven. Let's see what's in number seven. There's $2,500, a good start. I'm going to go. All right. I'm going to see what's in number one. Let's see what's in number one. There's another four thousand dollars. You only need thirty five hundred for the prize package. Stop or go. I'm gonna go next door to number two. He's going number two. Do we have thirty five hundred dollars in number two? There's another three thousand dollars. You had ninety five hundred. You just need five hundred dollars. Stop or go. Number three. Going number three. Do we have a five hundred dollar bill in number three? You did, Nels. Good job. That's the maximum possible you can get without um, getting the ticking tax. $14,500 in the prize package. Let's see where that dragon was. The dragon was in number four, and there's the ticking attack. The tick was in number nine, and the tack was in number five. So. Uh, I should have went harder on him. Yep. You lost, dragon. Uh, well. I'm gonna go harder on the next person. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, you have fifty-five thousand and ten dollars. Uh, we're gonna add your previous win winnings of twenty thousand dollars, and those prizes are totaled seventy-five thousand and ten dollars. Do me a favor, Nels, and go to your uh, X podium. I'm, I'm already there. And while we announce this next player, who's gonna play for forty-five thousand dollars, as it was. Before for the Beat the Dragon game, it is Brandon Scruggs. How you doing, Brandon? I'm good, Ronnie. How about yourself? Good, good, good. You could uh, reach over a million dollars, Brandon. How do you feel about that? Um, I've my luck's been the last couple of Beat the Dragon games. I'm not sure, but you know what? Hey, anything's possible. Anything's possible, just like the Illinois Lottery. <laughs> Well, if you're ready to go, let me get the uh, game screen all set up again. I have to always reset it here. And make sure it's on the camera view. All right. All right, Brandon, if you're ready to play for $45,000, let's do 
the beat the dragon game again hold on stand by let me get this camera on focus here okay sorry about that folks all right let's do the beat the dragon game all right you know how to play let's reveal the board because he's a softy. You trying to go for a million bucks, it, it, it ain't gonna happen. Listen here, Dragon. I'm getting my money one way or another. <laughs> now, I'm getting my money one way or another. Okay, you asked for it. You bet I did. Get to the prizes. Here are your prizes, Brandon, and they are the following. We have a folding trailer, a dining group of dinnerware, a queen size bed and sleep set, a computer cabinet, we have a living room group, and a player piano, and these prizes are total $37,948. Okay. Almost like Nell's prize package, but if you find a ticket and attack on your uh, first two picks, we give you a $90,000 bonus, but if you find it on any of your other picks, we give you $45,000 and a shot at a new car, it could bring you over a million dollars. Let's cover up the board. You ready, Brandon? Start picking. Number one, please. Let's see what's in number one. No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Told ya! The Brandon, the dragon's in love with you, Brandon. I told you I'd go hard on you, Brandon. You lose! You know what, listen here, Dragon. Your mother was the lizard and your father was a propane grill. <laughs> no. Alright, I'll take that as a compliment. I'll take that as a compliment. Let's see where you should have went, Brandon. Oh, in the corners. Take is in seven and tax is in nine. That means that the jackpot goes up to $50,000 or $100,000 if it happens on the first two picks. And now let's get to our game. Go to the circle. See you later. Go to the circle spot, Brandon. All right, now we're ready to do our game and have one champion for sure. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Eric. How you doing, Eric? Uh, stressed. Stupid trolls on YouTube again. We'll talk about it after the game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, if y'all guys ready to go, this is our special Trivial Pursuit Family Edition episode, and y'all will see what I mean with the categories. Here are the nine categories we're dealing with, and they are the following. We have Geography, the $10,000 question, History, Sports and Leisure, Art and Literature, the Secret Category, Entertainment, Double or Nothing, I'll explain it if y'all pick that, Science and Nature, okay? All right, and uh, Nels, which category would you like to start with? I'm going to start with double or nothing, please. Right off the bat. <laughs> the double or nothing questions are my own questions. It has nothing to do with the Trivia Pursuit game, okay? okay. What, and the double or nothing, if you answer this question right, you'll get another, well, you'll get a decision to make, and you could risk it for another box. But first, you got to get this question right. Okay. What is the top color of... Let me try again. What is the top color on the neck of the guitar in the Guitar Hero game? Red? Red is wrong. Red is wrong. It's it, green. It's green, yep. It's green. But that's okay. We shuffle. I don't play Guitar Hero, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. You and me both. You and me both. I love that game. Yeah. Golden opportunity, Brandon. Watch and learn, everybody. Double or nothing. He's going to do double or nothing. Here's your question on double or nothing. <clears throat> which is larger, the U.S. gallon or the Imperial gallon? Again, which is larger, the U.S. gallon or the Imperial gallon? Hmm. I want to say the U.S. Garland? No, it's the Imperial. The Imperial. Really? 
Yeah, the Imperio. Okay, we shuffle. Okay. All right, now. I'm going to try entertainment. Going with entertainment. Okay, that's in the pink and in the sixth box. All right, we'll start with the kids' question. Okay, here's your question on entertainment. What state is Dorothy from in The Wizard of Oz? Is it Nebraska, Kansas, or Connecticut? Kansas. Right, you are. That's the right answer. Yeah, that's right. Good job. $2,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Brandon. Mm. Let's try it again. Double or nothing. All right, sec. Third time is the charm. Here's the question. Second time for you. Which area of Romania is known as the home of Dracula? Uh, that would be Transylvania. That's the right answer. Good job. Now, are we keeping that box or risking it for another box knowing that if you mess up in that other box, you'll lose them both? Uh, I will risk it and I will go double or nothing with geography, please. Double or nothing with geography. Okay. Answer the, ge the geography question correctly. You'll get both boxes. Misses, of course, you lose them both. What are Zori, the Japanese people, wear in their homes? Silk trial. Let me try again. What are Zori, that Japanese people, wear in their homes? Is it A, silk trousers, B, white gloves, or C, soft slip slippers? Again, what are Zori, that Japanese people, wear in their homes? A, soft, silk trousers, B, white gloves, or C, soft slippers? I think they're the, I think they're the uh, uh, slippers or sandals. That is the right answer. You got both boxes. Good job. I didn't think you'd get that one. Right? Yeah. I had a few slippers or sandals. Yeah. I, have, I have a friend of mine who's been teaching me some Japanese culture things lately, so. He's on. All right, six thousands in the pot, and we shuffle. I don't know if sandals are acceptable, though. Well, it's acceptable because it was multiple choice. It was soft slippers was the answer, but uh, okay. yeah. Go ahead, now. Sports and leisure to block. Sports and leisure to block. Which set of questions you want? Let's try the kid again. You want to try the kid again? Here's yeah. your question. In the orange. Which of these is not a type of kick in martial arts? Is it the axe kick, the peg kick, or the hook kick? Peg? Peg kick is right. Good job. And the wow. block. $8,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Brandon. Science and nature in the center, please. Two-part question worth $3,000. I will give you the time. You want the kids' questions, the adult questions, what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I'll give you how the... About one, how about one of each? <laughs> I'll give you the adult questions here. Okay. And luckily for you, these adult questions are true or false. So here we go. Okay. First, psychiatrists were once known as alienists. Is that statement true or false? And the second one... Sharks have a sixth sense to detect electricity and vibration. Is that statement true or false? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? Um, I'll go with the first one. Psychiatrists were once known as alienists. Is that true or false? Total guess here. I'm going to say it's true. It is true, yes. And the second one. Sharks have a sixth sense to detect electricity and vibration. Is that statement true or false? That's all. That's true as well. Yes, this helps them to track their prey. That is right. Good job. $11,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. I like it, guys. Yeah, good strategy. Oh, what are you going to do? 
Oh, no. What did you say? Double and nothing to block. I thought you would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's, here's your question on the double and nothing. This is an important uh, question. During what decade was the first Super Bowl played? I will say the 60s. Right you are. That's the right answer. Now, point of question. Are you going to keep that box or risk it for another box knowing if you mess up in that other box, you're losing both? I'll risk it for history for the block. That a boy. You're going for a double? You're going for the all opponent double block right here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Here's your question on history. Miss it though, you lose both boxes. Yeah. Yeah. What does the ASPCA seek to prevent cruelty against? Again, what does the ASPCA seek to prevent cruelty against? Animals. You have both boxes in a double block. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That's never happened. That ha I think it has happened before. Or it has? I think so. I just haven't written it down. The first time I'm seeing it. Yep. Me too. Yep. All right. That was a big play. Excuse me. That was a big play. $15,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Brandon. Where are we going? Entertainment for a tie. You get this question on entertainment. It'll be a tie game. And we'll do another game with you guys with the pot at $17,000, okay? Wow. Here's your question. At what restaurant does SpongeBob SquarePants work at? Oh, that would be the Krusty Krab. We have a tie game! We have a tie game. Good job, good yeah. job, both of you. Oh, yep. Oh, bloody way. Oh, oh bloody way. Which is this now? Tie game. Yep. So we got a tie. We got a tie game between Brandon and Nels, and we're gonna take a very short commercial break. When we come back, we'll have the same categories on the board with the pop game bigger at this point with seventeen thousand dollars in it. We'll be right back after this. Wait a minute. There it is. Here we go. We'll be right back. Oh, oh you better have bought. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back with Tic Tac Doe. You see $17,000 in the jackpot right now, and this pot is going to get bigger from here. We're in our second game between these two guys. Let's move the camera back here. All right, in our special Trivia Pursuit episode, and here are the nine categories. Y'all know six of them. What are the red categories going to be? We have the bonus category. Then we have jump in, the jumping category and opponent's choice. Let me unlock y'all controls here. Okay. Ooh, jumping's gonna make this a lot interesting. Yes. If it, and the bonus category is not already. Yep. <laughs> All right, Nels, you may begin. I'll take entertainment, please. Go with entertainment in the pink. Your question on entertainment. Yes. On what website can you update your status, post on someone's wall, and poke someone? That would be Facebook. You better get that right. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you're not quite like me. Are you as, sure it's not MySpace? <laughs> you no, know, it's Facebook. Yep. Yeah, what's okay. MySpace? Yep, Facebook. We Good. shuffle. Just all right, Brandon. Mm, let's go with geography, please. All right, going with geography. Here's your question on geography. What is magma called when it erupts from a... Ver Let me try again. What is, what is magma called when it erupts from a volcano? That would be known as lava. That is the right answer. Good job. $21,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. 
Oh, All right, Nels. I'll take sports and leisure, please. Sports and leisure, your question on that. If you had a venison steak on your plate, what animal would you be eating? Deer? That is right. Good job. We have $23,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. Brandon. Mm, okay, geography, get in the block. Going with geography for the block, going to the adult selection. Here's your question. What young adult science fiction series of novels by Suzanne Collins is set in the nation of Panem? Again, what young adult series fiction series? Let me try again. What what young adult science I can't speak today. What young adult science fiction series of novels by Suzanne Collins is set in the nation of Panem? Yeah, that would be the Hunger Games. That is a block. Good job. Wow. Whoa. Twenty-five thousand dollars. I know that. Yep. I love those movies. That was it. Yep. Twenty-five thousand is in the pot, and we shuffle. Nels. I'll take entertainment to block, please. Entertainment for the block. Your question on the entertainment. Two-part question. Okay. First, what is the name of the cat that becomes Stuart's friend in Stuart Little 2? Is it A, Snowball, B, Snowbell, or C, Snowdrop? And the second one, what musical instrument does Anna play in the remake of the film Freaky Friday? Is it A, a guitar, B, a piano, or C, a violin? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Nels, which part you want to answer first? I think I want to start with the second one, because I'm very confident that it's a guitar. Guitar is correct, and the first one. What is the name of the cat that becomes Stuart's friend in Stuart Little 2? Snowball, Snowbell, or Snowdrop? I want to say Snowball. I'm sorry, Snowball is wrong. Is it Snowbell? It's Snowbell, yeah. Snowbell. Uh oh. All right, we have $25,000. Dang it. Yep. We have $25,000 still in the pot, and we shuffle. More points, choices available. All right, Brandon. Geography for the win, please. Get this question right on geography. You have 16 wins and two ties. Uh, $28,000, and your wins will be at, let me see, 900 and, let me make sure, $28,000 will be $913,452. Wow, a lot of money here. Two-part question. First. What is the world's largest island? Is it A, Greenland, B, Crete, or C, Iceland? And the second one, in which country would you find a province called British Columbia? Is it A, Australia, C, Canada, or D, South Africa? Here's your time to think about it, Brandon. Which part do you want to answer first? Uh, the first one. What is the world's largest island? Is it A, Greenland, Greenland, B, Crete, or C, Iceland? Well, if, of the three choices that are there, the answer would be Greenland. Right. And for but, they were, but realistically, the world's biggest island is technically Australia, but they consider it a continent. Okay. Yeah. But Greenland is right of these three, yes. And for Tic Tac Doe, and $28,000, which will give you a total of $913,452, I believe. And which country will you find a province called British Columbia? Is it A, Australia, B, Canada, or C, South Africa? British Columbia is in the nation to our north, Canada. You have Tic Tac Doe! Good job! Sorry, how are you doing, my friend? How are you? Are you okay? No, sorry for me. <laughs> Let me add the total up, make sure that I add it right here, $28,000. Yep, 
Yes, I was right. Nine hundred thirteen thousand four hundred fifty-two dollars, getting close to a million dollars, and you're gonna um, uh, go and meet the dragon shortly. Well, Nels, we're gonna add another twenty-five hundred dollars to your total because you have played in one tie game. Yes. That gives you a total of seventy-seven thousand five hundred ten dollars to go away with. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Well, Brandon, let's see if you can get the million dollars this time, okay? Here we go. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game! All right, let's bring the dragon back out. You're on. Oh. <laughs> we meet again, kind Scrags. You found me right away last time. You're gonna find me again. Brandon. I'm trying to stop you from winning that million dollars if it takes all day doing it. Brandon is ignoring you. Good strategy, Brandon. What are you scared? Hey, EJ. Hey, JJ. Where are you? Scared? Oh, I see the silent treatment. Get to the prizes, kind of flipping. Here we go. The living room group. A queen size brass bed. A trip to Bermuda. A spa. A trip to Portugal. And a trip to Napa Valley, California. Those prizes are total $27,617. All right, Brandon, man, to get the ticket attack on any of your picks, we give you a $50,000 bonus. During your first two picks, we give you a $100,000 bonus and a shot and a new car. Let's cover up the board. Whenever you're ready, Brandon, start picking. Number nine, please. Let's see what's in number nine. Oh, boy. What? Brandon, thank you for doing my job, Justin. But yeah, it's what Justin said. Tax going behind seven. Seven, man. I, that's what I'm guessing. Guessing two. It would, it, would be, it would be the same two squares back to back. There's, there's no way. There's no way it'd be same two squares same in a row. Do you know what? I've seen stranger things happen on this board. So you know what? I'll take one shot at it. Seven. You'll try seven. Get the drum roll. If you... If Tack is behind number seven, Brandon, you are a millionaire, okay? Okay. Is Tack behind number seven? No. Twenty, twenty-five hundred dollars. You probably will be still a millionaire if you get the uh, Tack in the car to go along with it. But stop or go. I'm gonna go on. All right. Number six. Let's see what's behind number six. There's another fifteen hundred. You got four thousand dollars. Stop or go. Uh, we're gonna go on number eight. Okay, let's see what's All in right. number eight. No, not again! Oh, James! You see what happens, Brandon, when you give me the silent treatment? Huh? Huh? Uh, oh, right. You. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Is there an annoying dragon talking? I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please inform the dragon. I do not have anything else to say to him at this point. Thanks, man. Number one. Yeah, it was in number one in the other corner. The take and attack is staying in the corners. But Brandon, here's something that the dragon cannot take away. You still have nine hundred thirteen thousand four hundred fifty-two dollars, and you're playing another game. We're gonna take a commercial break and pay some bills. We're gonna do one more game. Stick with us, won't you? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to play our final game of Tic-Tac-Doe. If the buzzer goes off before we finish this game, we'll do the Beat the Dragon game on Wednesday. Our final opponent for Brandon is Boris Alexander. How you doing, Boris? Hello. Speak very loud uh, if you can, Boris, because uh, the washing machine is going. But, uh, you ready to play tic-tac-toe? Uh, 
Okay. I think he said yes. Okay. I'm ready to play. All right. Here's the uh, final nine categories. Y'all know the six of them. Let's see what the red categories are. We have that bonus category, the three-part question. Answer all three parts correctly. You get another turn immediately. The secret category will double everything in the pot. And the $10,000 question will add $10,000 in the pot upon a right answer, okay? Brandon, which category would you like to start? I would like to start with the bonus category. Please. Right away. Get this bonus category question correctly. You'll get that box in the extra turn, okay? Okay. All I want you to do to get that box is give me three of the top ten NBA players of all time according to the top10.com website. I need three of the top NBA players of all time according to the top10.com website in 30 seconds. Go ahead. Okay, um, this is the questionable one. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Number seven, go ahead. Uh, Magic Johnson. Number two, one more. Michael Jordan. Number one, you got it, good job. Oh, nice. That was a tough one. Yep, good job. I would, have, I would have mentioned Larry Bird as well. That's number five. Y'all can't talk. Y'all can't talk at the same time. Y'all only can talk one at a time. Brand, uh, uh, what's your guess, Justin? LeBron James. Number three. I would, I would, I would guess Jordan Bird. Man, I would. Isaiah Thomas, not the current one, but the one that you are. Okay, I'll tell you the rest of them. Number ten is Oscar Robertson. Number nine, and Oscar Robertson was the one who had the previous um, triple double record, if my mind serves me correctly. But that was before. That, that was before Russell Westbrook broke the record. Yep. We have um, Shaquille O'Neal, Bill Russell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, the one who scored 100 points in one basketball game. We have Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, the one who scored 81 points in one basketball game. LeBron James, Magic Johnson, and Michael Jordan. He scored 69 points one time in a basketball game, okay? All right, you get another turn for that, Brandon, for answering that. Now what do you want to do? Um, sports and leisure in the center, please. Two-part question worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you the extra time on it. Here's your question: Where would you do a flutter kick, a whip kick, and a dolphin kick? Is it A in a dojo, B on a rugby field, or C in a swimming pool? And the second one, what sport would you be participating in if you were doing kickers and mogos on a bunny slope? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part do you want to answer first? Uh, the first one. Where would you do a flutter kick, a whip kick, and a dolphin kick. Is it A in a dojo, B on a rugby field, or C in a swimming pool? Swimming pool. Right. And for the center box, what sport would you be participating in if you were doing kickers and mogos on a bunny slope? That would be skiing. Right, or snowboarding. That's right. Good job. $5,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, Boris. Um, um, ten thousand question. Going for the ten thousand dollar question. It will make the pot fifteen thousand dollars if you're right. Okay, listen carefully to this question. The classic game show host Bill Cullen had always sat on game show sets when they would introduce him because of his disability. For to add ten thousand dollars in the pot. What was Bill Cullen's disability? Uh, I know 
He doesn't know. Do anybody in the audience? Do anybody in the audience know it? I can tell you. Go ahead. He couldn't walk or something. No, no, I know what it is. Wait a minute. He he's on. He's right. But what was his disability, Cody? I'll give you one more shot. I cerebral palsy. No, not cerebral palsy. Go ahead, uh, Eric. I know this one. I believe he was suffering from polio. That's it, polio. Yeah, oh. polio. Yep. All right, 5,000 is still in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Brandon, what do you want to do? Sports and leisure for the win. All right, if you get this right, Brandon, it will be tic-tac-doe and five, oh, excuse me, $7,000, and you have a total of $920,452, plus we'll have a rematch, okay, between you and Boris, okay? Okay. Here's your question. Oh, get the hell out of here. Here it is. You better get this. Which of these is not a sign of the Zodiac? Is it A, Taurus, B, Orion, or C, Sagittarius? Uh, last time I checked, Orion was not one of them. You got a tic-tac-doe. Good job. <laughs> Another $7,000, Brandon. You're up to $920,452. You're going to try your chances at the uh, Dragon, hopefully, you'll beat him this time, okay? Okay. Boris, we'll see you for Countdown, and you'll get a rematch against Brandon, okay? All right. All right. All right, T, if you're ready to go, uh, Brandon. Right. Let's kick the bra let's kick the Let's kick the Dragon's ass this time, okay? Here we go. This is the last part, and then we're going to sign off. This was a good episode, though. Let's end this show with a million bucks for you, Brandon. Yes. That's the idea. Yep. Here we go. For once, I'll say nothing. Just get to the prizes. Here we go. A 14.6 day sailor of Barrosana, a trip to Montego Bay, a hot tub, a computer cabinet, a trip to Vail, Colorado. And that prize package is total $33,105. All right, Brandon, if you manage to get the tick and the tack on any of your picks, we give you a $55,000 bonus. Do it on your first two picks, you'll be a millionaire. We'll add $110,000 to your total, and you're gonna go for the car. Do it, Brandon. Well, according to my according to my math, all I have to do is find Ticket Tech, and I think I'm a millionaire. So that said, yeah, let's go back to our traditional style that works. Seven. Let's see what's in number seven. There's twenty five hundred dollars. Good start. Three. He's going for three. Let's see what's in number three. There is the tick. Find the tack. We give you a fifty five thousand dollar bonus. And a shot at the new car. What do you want to do? Suggestions, guys? Two. Um, I have a hunch yet. I'm from the bullseye, number five. Six. I was thinking two as well, so two. Yes. Go, go on number two. All right. If is tack bond number two. There's another three thousand dollars, you have fifty five hundred, now you need forty five hundred to tag. Alright, five grand is what I'm looking for, or a tech. So two out of six chance, I'm hoping tech or five grand is behind number nine. You hope it's in number nine. Did the bonuses stay in the corners? Is tech behind number nine? You did, Brandon! Yeah! He stayed in the corners! Brandon, you just dropped the confetti for $55,000! Oh. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's uh, reveal where that dragon was. Right in the bullseye, I number five. It. I knew it. What? Now he doesn't qualify. Do, 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 do. Hey, what just happened here? Brandon's a millionaire. That's what happened. Two words. I'm oh my a millionaire. And I got punched in a million bucks range. Yes, 35. 
But Brandon. That's enough right there. I can I get a word in, guys? Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. Brandon, you want to see what car you're going for? You can add this on top of your million plus. Sure. Let's see what the car you're going for. It's a 2016 Jaguar F-Type with $73,845. Those are really nice. All right, Brandon. 50-50 shot. Tick well, or tack? I'm going, with, I'm going with the strategy that's worked the last couple times here. So the one I found last is where I'm going with. So tack it is. All right. If you get this car, I think you'll be at 1.1 million or something. Let's see. You did it! Oh, yeah! Uh, I, I what happened? That's how we end the show. Get a million bucks out of the deal. So cash and play. We're well, much out of it. I love that total. That total looks really good up there. $171,950 added on top of everything. When I add your previous winnings, let me get everything set up. Get the music going. There's the bell. Wow, we did all that in 25 minutes. I'm surprised. Perfect timing. This is great. Congratulations, Brandon. That's awesome. Okay, you have your previous winnings were $920,452. When we add all of that to your total, that gives you a brand total of... Hang on, stand by. My brain can't do the math right now. <laughs> one million ninety-two thousand four hundred two dollars. Almost one point one million. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is the way we're gonna end the episode. This is Rodney One Two Seven Nine signing off. We have our second millionaire this season of Tic Tac Doe. And if you want to join our YouTube channel, let me know in the comments below. We'll be glad to have you in our huge entertainment group. For right now, this is Rodney1279 signing off. Stay be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. I will see you guys next time for Tic Tac Doe. Goodbye, everybody.